handoff, Toby. Across the 10, inside the 5, end zone, touchdown! Handoff, Toby, into the end zone! Earhart, there you see him make a few people miss. Somebody hit him on the ankle, broke the tackle. Down the sideline, he will score! Toby Gerhardt, end zone, touchdown! And we welcome in senior running back Toby Gerhardt, who joins us via Skype. Toby, Pac-10, it's as wide open as it's been in a decade. What do you guys think about potentially winning the conference and going to the Rose Bowl? You know, we're excited about that. Going into the season, that was our goal. You know, to take the next step, get in the upper tier of the Pac-10, and to win the Pac-10 title. And, you know, with two games remaining, uh, if we win both of those, you know, we have a chance to, you know, go to the Rose Bowl in January. Now, at USC this weekend, last time you traveled down there, 41-point underdogs, and you won. This time, a little different story. What's the mentality of Stanford going down to see the Trojans this weekend? Yeah, we see this game as an opportunity. You know, going down to USC, they've been the traditional power in the Pac-10, and it's always tough to play in the Coliseum. But we've had a good week of practice so far. We're confident, and we're excited for a big game this Saturday. Now, last season, you set the Stanford single-season rushing record. This year, you took down the single-game record. You do have another year if you want to come back. But what's left here, and what will ultimately determine if you decide to declare for professionals, uh, for the pros, or come back to Stanford one more year? Um, I'll, I think we'll just take it as, as this year comes to a close. You know, when this year's all said and done, you know, we got three games left and a bowl game. So when that's when that's all said and done, you know, I'll get evaluated, uh, see where I stand, and uh, you know, potentially come back. You know, Stanford's going to be a great team next year and compete for a Pac-10 uh, Pac title and potentially a national title. Toby, thank you very much for joining us. Have a great rest of the season, and maybe we'll see Stanford in the Rose Bowl. All right, sounds good. Look forward to it. Toby Gerhardt has broken his own Stanford record for the most rushing yards in the season. He's the Bowl subdivision's second-leading rusher, the school's third-time all-time leading rusher, and shares the record for most career 100-yard games with Darren Nelson. Robert, the kid's got options. He's at Stanford. He could be a pro baseball player. He'd go to the NFL draft. If he chooses the NFL, what kind of pro prospect is Toby Gerhardt? I think he's a pretty good pro prospect. And look, if you want to play running back in the NFL, you better be you better be big or you better be fast. And not just those two, you need to have pretty good lateral movement. And I think he has deceptively good lateral movement because those bigger backs, you remember the Nigerian nightmare, Christian Okoye and Brandon Jacobs now, when those bigger backs, they take more of those hits. And I think that if they don't have that lateral movement, if they can't avoid those big hits because they're such large targets, it shortens their career. But one other thing about Toby Gerhardt that's really impressive, he's already had an ACL surgery, had it in his sophomore year, and had to fight back through that and take it from somebody who's had multiple knee surgeries. <laughs> you know, when you fight through the devastation and the anxiety of a knee injury as a running back, once you come back, you've got this renewed sense of victory Bigger and commitment and there's just nothing that can bother you anymore because you've gone through about as serious an injury you could have as a runner we talk Duke is in the ACC hunt Stanford's in the Pac-10 hunt it's a smart kid chemistry books for everybody <laughs> and speaking of the Rose Bowl don't forget that ESPN and ABC is the home of the Rose Bowl that's on January 1st and then on the 7th it's the BCS championship game both games in Pasadena but you're